Hello and welcome to Mary MBA Today. I'm your host Josh Skelton and joining us is Ethan Lindstrom, second year MBA student in the OBHR track. Ethan, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. So Ethan, oftentimes uh, students get the opportunity to travel abroad in the MBA program and I hear that you went on such a trip recently. Yeah, I was able to go to Mexico for my international HR class. Excellent. You know, that's a class that I didn't get to take um, during my time here. Can you tell us a little bit more about the international HR class? Yeah, so um, it takes all of the HR classes, topics that we talk about in other classes, talent management, compensation and benefits, um, career planning, all of those things, and looks at them in a global context. So how is it different in global companies? How is it different when you're in an emerging market? Um, what laws and policies most affect how you're going to manage your business and your people? Um, and we, we took a long look at expats. So if you're going to send people to other countries from the United States, what do you need to consider and how do you make those trips, those opportunities successful? Sounds like interesting topics. Um, so as part of this class, you got to go on the trip. Is that something that everybody in the class gets to participate in or how are those trips structured? Um, yeah, so international experience is one of those things you can't learn by talking about it. Um, so it was structured into the class from the very beginning that there would be an international trip. You weren't required to go, but it's highly encouraged. Um, and they came up with, they found three projects. So one was with Honeywell in Mexico looking at diversity. The second project was for General Mills in Canada. They just acquired Liberté, which is a yogurt brand, um, and they're trying to integrate them into General Mills. And then the third was for HVS, which is a hospitality consulting company in Singapore. And the Honeywell project was the most interesting to me, both for its topic of diversity, which is something I'm interested in, but also because it was in Mexico and I speak Spanish. And so I wanted to have that opportunity to do business in Spanish. So for those who might be considering the class, uh, cost of the trip might be a barrier to them signing up for the class. So did you have to pay for your own travel? Um, initially we thought we would, but the professor and his assistant were able to find a grant through the Global Management Center and also some money from the Organizational Behavior Department. And so that ended up covering the entire trip and we're really grateful for their assistance um, because it, it was a great experience. So international HR class, you get exposure to international companies, great experience for your resume, and a fun trip to Mexico. <laughs> yes. Sounds like I definitely missed out. <laughs> you, you did. It's a great class. <laughs> so any memorable takeaways from the trip? Any good stories? Yeah, so um, we you know, did a few days of business, interviewing other companies and, and doing some research. And then um, we'd rented a car and we decided to go out to the pyramids at Teotihuacan, which are just you know, half an hour outside of Mexico City. Um, so I drove, and uh, that's an adventure all in itself, driving in, a, in another country. Um, and uh, on the way, so we went to the pyramids, and then we decided to go down downtown Mexico City, and the signage is terrible. We got lost two or three times, ended up going through a bus station, like twice, looping around. And then I turned down the wrong, down a one-way street, and there was a cop car coming the other way. He flashed his lights, um, pulled me over. I, I was so flustered that I forgot how to speak Spanish. Um, we were lost because we didn't have GPS, so we were just trying, like, trying to follow the signs, which were not good. Um, and I, I, so he was talk, asking me a question, and I, I speak Spanish, but I could not get anything out. I couldn't remember how to say I'm lost or anything. Um, after a few sentences, he just laughed and said, Con calma, calm down, rolled his window up and took off. You know, I later found out no one gets tickets for anything in Mexico. So he was just kind of, I think, playing with a gringo. Um, <laughs> but I was definitely worried for a minute there. But it, um, we laughed about it a lot for the rest of the trip. <laughs> what about the passengers in your car? Were they worried that they were getting sent to jail? <laughs> um, actually, they, they thought my flustered act was, they thought my, they thought I was pretending not to speak Spanish to not get in trouble, <laughs> but it was real. So I think they were more worried about me and like how nervous I was than, than getting, or maybe me getting thrown in jail and none of them spoke Spanish. So um, that would have been an adventure if they had to do something without me. That sounds like it was quite the trip. So if students are looking to uh, take this class next year, would you recommend it? 
definitely. Um, I'm going to work for Chevron, which has global operations. They plan to send me globally. And the things I've learned in this class make me feel that I'm 100% prepared to go and tackle those challenges and add value in a global company. And pretty much every company is global. So I'd recommend that everyone um, take that class to be ready for global careers. Now on top of adding a, a great experience to your resume with Honeywell, international exposure to HR, you also get to have an awesome story about getting pulled over in Mexico. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think I might put that on my resume. <laughs> So for those of you who may be considering the international HR class, it sounds like an exciting adventure. And I encourage you to sign up for next year. And Ethan, thanks for joining us today and telling us more about the class. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And thank you for joining us on another episode of Marriott MBA Today.